welcome back to another edition of What's Moving in the Forex Market, brought to you by myself, Kurt Capra, and Pristine Trading. As always, keep in mind that all comments are for educational purposes only and should not be construed as investment advice. And also remember that Pristine offers free webinars on a weekly basis. Here's some of our upcoming webinars, so make sure to check out www.pristine.com for our full schedule, and uh, I welcome you to register for any and all that, that you find to be of interest. With that said, taking a look at where things are at here as we approach this coming week, we've got in the upper left Euro US dollar continuing its its slide down trending here on the daily and really not looking like it's going to stop. At this point, the downtrend is is solidly intact and not showing any signs of becoming overly climactic or that it's ready to end. In fact, you've got a new breakdown forming here which could send us back down to lows seen and made earlier in the year so definitely look out for that moving on over to aussie dollar us dollar not a whole lot going on here it's been flipping back and forth quite a bit uh, we've had a move up here above a little bit of resistance but into the next level of resistance the weekly trend overall is down so while there have been slight indications of strengthening from a daily point of view the weekly is still weak and so we want to be very careful here about entering into any swing longs what i would be more in line with with doing is really um looking to get long intraday but if a short were to set up on the daily i would be very interested in looking to play that because of the weekly uh, downtrend that that's in place and maybe looking to take control once again moving on over to new zealand dollar us dollar this one is pretty pretty convincingly in a downtrend at this point or at least beginning a downtrend so I would look for this to continue weakening as we head into this this upcoming week. Uh, there was a little bit of a, a strong bounce off this low, but so far all it's done is push us into the top of resistance and it's now been rolling back over. So I would look for this to continue weakening back down towards these prior lows and then we'll see what happens at that point. We can reassess things and maybe look to get long, maybe expect that it'll stall here and continue lower. So as I said, we'll see what happens when it gets there. Looking on down here at US dollar yen, this continues to trend higher here overall. We've got an, a, a bit of an ascending triangle type formation happening where these highs are, uh, are, are staying relatively equal while the lows are getting higher. So the volatility is contracting in a bullish manner here where, as I said, you're getting this, this ascending triangle type formation and the suggested next move would be for a break higher so that's what i will be looking for in this coming week us dollar canadian dollar uh, middle bottom chart here this is pushing higher coming into this prior high so we'll, we'll want to pay attention to that i'm not suggesting that it's really a major area to be worried about but it is something we do need to be aware of and uh, we'll see what happens when we get there. But right now the trend is up and it's suggesting we will get there. So that's what I'll be looking for. Intraday opportunities to get long for a move up into this area and what could be higher. And finally, pound US dollar in the bottom left. This is looking like it's headed back down towards these prior lows. The attempt to move up uh, early part of last week failed. We got this nasty red bar down. And so it certainly appears as though we are headed lower. We do have this one little bottoming tail that's being tested, 